Okay. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. What you see in front of you is the basement foundation from last spring. That's right, we are finally ready to start. Well, actually, that's not true. We came over to Snap Lines because we knew we were going to start sometime in the next few weeks, and we had nice weather with dry walls. So let me run you through what I think is the fastest way to square up a walkout or daylight basement. The secret sauce is the Stabila LA-180 layout station. It shoots square, but not dots. It shoots beams. Now the back of this house is 64 feet long. I can't remember what it is front to back, 35 and change. When I use this laser, I adjust it manually and I get it close. It's actually pretty uncanny. And then with the dial, well, we dial it right in. Okay. okay. So five and six. And I'm just gonna go right off. Yeah, that's nice. I just go right for that little indent. Five and six, we can just pull that to the corner. And I'll just go like every, I don't know, 10 or so feet, 20 feet, I guess. That is right on the wall. The laser is set to the outside corner of the wall. And now we're shooting 64 feet and aligning it with the detector. I'm going five and three eighths in instead of five and a half for two by six. And honestly, our mud sill is probably five and Not five bad. eighths. Five and six. For frankly, no good reason. I, I just prefer to have the mud sill hanging out just a little bit. I'll just go I right don't to know the why. end. Since the laser is aligned with the outside of the foundation, obviously the detector is going to pick up the outside of the wall. I'm then going to measure off for the inside of the Yeah, I know what you mean. Cell. Five and six. If you start speaking, I'll thank you. Now, we didn't move anything, right? No. Okay. All right, so we're good? Yeah. Okay, so don't move this. <laughs> Don't move this. Now we're gonna take this. So we've got 64 feet, dead straight. Now we wanna shoot up all of those steps. Look at that. I should have a... Uh... So I'm actually gonna mark here, um, this way. That is on the money, dude. I can't believe that. Five and six. That's right on the edge as well. Who did the foundation work, Noah? So five and six. That is like, man, that's like a 16th back. I am impressed. So five and six, five and three eighths. Yeah, we're gonna take the world's biggest level and just plumb down on each step. Okay, yeah, I'll just come down, Noah. I mean, it's literally that easy, right? Now we're just connecting the dots and marking the steps at the same time. That guy I've kind of already got. I just eyeball it through to here. Not bad. Okay. So at this point, I think what we want to do is just snap a bunch of lines, Kyle. Like it? Yep. All right. Yeah. Pardon the mess. We didn't get you a like chance it? to get over and clean it up. So don't judge us for Also, cool. a storm came through and blew a bunch of our insulation off. So got a little bit of rework to do. Such oh. is life. <laughs> Six to one speed reel. Okay, and I've got this mark. This is good. We'll just be able to plumb through. Don't let the chalk line hit the wet slab. It's a quick way to ruin chalk lines, which we will do as soon as we snap lines on this lab. Okay, I'm gonna plumb up real quick. I think we're fine there. 
So now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do this without looking. And I gotta move out to the corner. Did you figure out the methodology? So the laser was set in the foreground, shot 64 feet across the back. We squared up to the right of you as the viewer. Now we're on the opposite side, squaring right back at you, same wall as the reference, to square up that far wall. Wrong way. I knew it, I knew it. I even switched halfway through. Okay, so I'm gonna come to that, Noah. Dude, that is on the money. I was not expecting that. I tell you what, I was so stressed last spring. Five and six. Okay, let me. Okay, I'm gonna plumb this down while I'm here. Just cause, wow, I was not expecting. I'll have to tell Tyler that. Yes, I'm genuinely surprised. If you go back to the, to the Olympic Foundations playlist, whatever it was, it was a train wreck. My wife came out, she'd never been right. out to shoot, or to, to shoot, to pour concrete. Uh, honestly, the spot that she flattened the wall at the top was All the right, best Noah. of the whole foundation. Anyway, I just, the front of this thing is a little wonky. I'll talk <laughs> about that later. <laughs> but at least the step downs I mean, are right on dude, the money. we're talking like nothing. All right, I'm just going to chuck this to you. I'm going to link it right above, right there. there. There's how we formed and we placed the concrete, and it just, it was so stressful. People on site that had never done it before, but it was all hands on deck. That was wow. all we had. It was the diagonal eye joist that was connected to all of those steps. I'm standing in a yeah, window Yeah, we're going wall. five and six everywhere. And then it, and then sure it kicked off. up over here. And yep. then it kicked off. <laughs> and then it kicked off into the brambles. Anyway, we're coming back to that. The magic is the laser. Its tolerances are so tight and it is so accurate that we're going to trust it. I mean, obviously, go set it up, pull some math, verify for yourself before you use it. Because, yeah, that's kind of a big deal, yeah, right? Like it is such a good piece of kit. I cannot recommend it enough. It is not cheap well worth I it. Say go for it. I'll that laser it is more accurate than us stretching steel tape measures 64 feet. So set it up in, uh, from this perspective, top left corner, shoot square, top right corner, shoot square, and then I'll show you how we do the rest. At that point, because it fans a beam, all we got to do is plumb down and connect the dots as you've seen. Simple, you simple, simple, and fast, and really easy to teach. Kyle and Noah had never done this before. Yeah. That's the whole point of us filming this is so now we you have that the reference laser anymore then, right? that we can go back to. I'll turn it off. Yeah, it's just great. Before we do the job next door, the guys can just rewatch the video and then we're going to blow into that, snap we're it out. We can, we're, we're convinced we that we could snap this whole thing out <laughs> in less than 30 <laughs> minutes was... because of that laser. There is no other way to do it that fast and that accurate. Let me go move this. That I know of. Um, but then again, sorry. my experience is quite limited. Also... Run, Forrest, run. You know you're getting old when you, uh, when you cramp your peck jogging. Okay, you tell me if you want me to pull it tighter. I'm good right there. Nice. All right. You like it? Yeah. All right. Okay, yeah, let's stop. So it's very fine, fine adjustment. So I always wait, because it is gonna self-level. My dot is at five and three eighths. So let's take the detector. You can take that down. I'm gonna put a mark here. Gotta sharpen this. And let's go mark each of the other two steps. That's gonna be our reference point. Okay, so basically step one was laser at the bottom and we shoot square, 64 foot was our reference point. Now we know that this side is square. We've already checked our step down, so we know ironically, honestly, we're not professional concrete guys, but it turned out really good. Then what we did is we put the laser exactly the opposite, used the same reference point, and we squared 
that other side. So technically, square and square, right, these two should be parallel, or at least within the tolerance of the uh, laser, which is probably well within our tolerance. Now, we're using this reference as a reference point. Let's show Kyle. What Kyle's doing is he's marking just, it doesn't matter what it is, it's just that it's 90 degrees to our side reference point. And then mark on the far side. Just don't step in that giant puddle. <laughs> so basically now, Kyle has a point on the wall where he's at the wall he just marked, and I have a point on the wall that I'm at. Now if we basically just dry line through that, that's a parallel to the back, because the side is square to the back, I think it makes sense if I don't belabor the point. Now we can snap all of our front jogs off of these reference points. Okay. Yeah, so just mark five and six, and then basically measure mark to mark. I don't like getting black chalk on my hands because it cracks them. I like smooth hands. Five, eight, and an eighth? Yeah. Okay, 58 and an eighth. Sounds like the wind's hitting that. So five, eight, 58 and an eighth. That's gonna line up with Kyle's. Okay, then let's snap that all the way through yours. So I'll come and get the dumb end. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead and snap it. Okay, I'll let this down. Now what we're gonna wanna do is I'm gonna go five and three eighths plus a half, so five and seven eighths, so that our sheeting touches these and we don't have to bend those. So off of your snap line, 23 one. Not bad, right on the buck out. Okay. Off the, no, the, yep, exactly. Yep. Now, can you give me the number or never mind, never mind, I'm being stupid. Okay, you can stop, no, we're gonna re Okay, I'm gonna go five and three eighths and use my sweet Martinez square to just line that up. I could pull parallel from the other end, but I'm here, this is, this is easy. Okay, so now I have that. Now, if we come over to um, Kyle, let me move the, this was your, <laughs> That's where I got it. <laughs> so here's your reference. That was the laser, right? Dude, I got a peak, sweet peak of dry. So this was our laser, right? Yep, yep, that's control. That was... You're sure? Yep. Okay, so then from your five and, and, um, five and six, give me that number, Thirteen. and I'll go the same here. Except I don't wanna. Okay. I'll have you snap it just because just because I'm posing. I'm like George on Seinfeld. Okay, basically we're gonna make adjustments later. Is I'm gonna go five and three eighths, and I'm gonna have you mark off of your line or off of your control point over there. Our control point is everything. So from your control, go 35 inches toward the front. Yep. Yeah. So off your control, 35. And then I'm gonna take your chalk line, you're gonna stay right where you're at, and I'm gonna go all the way through. Okay. I Put yours where it needs to go. Can you see? I think that's right. Let me, I'm gonna hook it and double check. Yeah, that's right on the money. Okay, so here's the last thing that we're gonna do. Cause the drone's gonna land itself. 
is I'm just going to match concrete. I'm going to go five and six. And what you're going to do, Kyle, so I have 48, 12. Here's what we're going to do. 48 and three quarter rise, 45 pitch diagonal, 6, 8, 15, 68, 15. So from this mark, wherever I cross that, 68, 15. Can you mark right there? 68, 15. And then from that mark, we're gonna come back this same number, which was what? On my calculator, 48 and three quarters. From that mark to here. Nope. Yeah, if you burn 48 and three quarters. 48 and three quarters. Yeah. Okay, that can't be right. Yeah, it is, okay. All right, 48 and quarter. Okay, then we'll head over here. I'm gonna go five and three eighths. What do I, if you hold me to the black line. Okay, 71 and three quarters. So I'm gonna go 71 and three quarters rise, 45 pitch. Diagonal is 101 and a half. So I'm gonna give you 101 and a half and wherever it crosses the black line. 101 and a half. And now from that line, we're gonna come back 71 and three quarters. 71, 12. And we'll snap that. And that'll be it. Okay, so we're snapped. Okay, let's do this for like the 99th take. Boy, you would think. Okay, so I've got a picture from the drone of our foundation, this exact situation, right? I'm in SketchUp. Let's just see if we can make this work. So here's the principle. At the top left where the cursor is at, we set the laser up to the outside corner. We set the detector on the opposite outside corner, even though my line's not that great. Now we have a perfectly straight line across the back. Then we take the detector and we can come to each of these points and then connect the dots. So let's do that. This isn't gonna be real pretty, but I connect the dot and then I can plumb down the detector at the corner, plumb down, same thing all the way down. One more, come on, one more click. Okay, so not the greatest line, but you get the point. So our top left is a 90 degree corner. Then all we do is we take the laser and we switch it with the detector on the back. Now, let me undo those lines. Now we're gonna set the laser in the top right, the detector in the top left. Once that's aligned, now we can mark each of our step downs, connect the dots, etc. And I think that part is makes, you know, sh should have been pretty clear in the video, I hope. If it didn't, that's 100% my fault. Now we have the two front to back or east west, let's see, north south walls are 90 degrees or square to our back wall. Now what we can do is we can take the laser again, and the reason that we can do this is because that laser is so accurate, is now I can come over here to what will be the garage, set it on the edge. This time I had to go in five and three eighths, just the way that the laser sets on the wall. Kyle had the detector here in the top left in the back. And so now we're just gonna use that side, which is square to the back as a reference point, and then what we're doing is we're shooting across the front and we're marking here and we're marking here. Now it's just a matter of taking that line, so to speak, hopefully I can do this, and we're just moving parallel. And let's do it again. I think it's control, right? Yeah. So see how that works? Because now our front wall has a bunch of reference lines, we can just go parallel uh, and then I'm going to undo that because there's one more is once this line is here, we can get this point here, measure off of the control line here and just string all the way through, reversing back to there. So now we're just parallel, parallel, parallel. Now I cheated in the video. I used a square 
to draw that corner in square. And then we came here and we knew this number. And so with the calculator, we can calculate 90 degrees, come over, and since it's a uh, right triangle, we just measure back. Of course, it was square in the video. <laughs> okay. And then same thing here. We knew what that front to back parallel was. With the calculator, we can just enter this leg as the rise, 45 is the pitch. It gives us this wherever it crosses. Then from there we go back and then we're square. I hope that that helps. Thank you everybody for following these videos. I'm, I'm trying to become a better teacher and I just really appreciate you watching the videos. Hopefully in 20 years from now when I'm like 65, I'll be really good at this. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll see you in the next video, everybody. Thanks for watching.